Hello, this is Mr. Chabry, and we're going to be talking about the fire types you can find within Sinnoh. Of course, there's not that many fire types, but Platinum did add a few um, that were missing from the Diamond and Pearl. The first fire type on our list is going to be Infernape. So this thing is an amazing fire type Pokemon if you need one. It is a fire fighting type Pokemon. Um, and it does have 104 attack and 104 special attack, meaning you can either use it for special attacks or physical attacks. It also has a 108 speed, meaning it's going to outspeed a lot of Pokemon. This thing is really fast and it hits really hard. Plus with the fire fighting type, it has quite a few things that it can do. Uh, you can rely on your fighting and fire stab and pretty much do a lot of damage to a big portion of the game. You have to keep in mind, Infernape is not meant to take physical hits that well. So with that, I still think Infernape is one of the best fire types that you can use throughout Sinnoh. Next up is Rapidash, and this thing is a decent fire type too. A 100 attack and a 105 speed I means it's going to be outspeeding quite a few things and putting some damage on things. It's not to the point where it's Infernape level, but it can hold its own pretty well. And now we're going to talk about the fire types added in the Sinnoh decks. The first one being Rotom Heat. This thing has an amazing typing. Electric Fire. Um, I feel like that's a typing that should be represented more. Um, but even with that Electric Fire type, you might think it's got a quad weakness to ground. It has the Levitate ability, meaning ground types won't touch it. So this thing has a really cool ability with its typing. 107 defense and a 107 special defense means it can take a few hits. 50 HP is not doing much for it though. And a 105 special attack means it can actually dish out some damage. So this thing is a, another solid fire type and with that electric typing that can help you check off two typings on your checklist. Next up is Flareon. This is another decent fire type pick. It has a 130 attack, which is really, really great, and a 110 special defense, meaning it's going to be able to take special hits pretty well. It is on the slower side with 65, and its move pull isn't the best. It's famously known for not getting Flare Blitz until way later on in the game. However, this thing can hold its own, and if you use physical moves on it, it can actually dish out a lot of damage. Now we have Houndoom, and this is another amazing fire type added for the Sinnoh decks. This thing has a 110 special attack, meaning it's going to be doing quite a bit of damage, and a 95 speed is really good as well. Its attack stat is at 90, which means it can actually do a little bit of damage with that physical stat. However, you want to use that special attack stat way more. Um, it is on the frail side with a 50 defense, which is really terrible, but an 80 special defense means it might take a few special hits. It also has the dark typing, which is a really great typing. It can get dark pulse and stuff like that. It does have a mega. Um, however, we aren't going to talk about its Mega because as of right now, we don't know if Mega's returned. But um, even without its Mega, this thing is an amazing Pokemon. Another great fire type is Magmortar. So this thing has a 125 special attack. So it's going to be doing a lot of damage. And it's got a 95 special defense, means it can take some hits pretty well as well. Uh, 95 attack isn't the worst and you can actually do some work with that as well. An 83 speed is pretty decent, so stats wise, this thing is really great. However, it also has some really good moves that it can learn. Uh, not only are you using fire type moves, but you can also teach this thing Thunderbolt to give it a surprise hit on water types. So Magmortar is an amazing Pokemon, and it's crazy that this thing wasn't available in original Diamond and Pearl, but with the Platinum decks, they added a, an amazing fire type that will actually help you out in your playthrough. So Heatran finds itself in the same boat as Shaman. It is a mythical Pokemon that's actually not in any of the Sinnoh Dexes, but it is a Gen 4 Pokemon, so I feel like we need to talk about it too. Um, this thing has a 130 special attack, which is really great. 106 defenses, which means it can take a lot of hits. And it also has the still typing, which just adds into its defensiveness. Uh, this thing has a 77 speed, which is uh, pretty much a middle-of-the-road speed stat, I would say. Um, but yeah, this thing is an amazing Pokemon. Of course, you can't use it on your in-game team, but if you use it in competitive team, this thing is an amazing addition. So with that, what fire types are you going to be using in your playthrough? They have added quite a few amazing fire types since Diamond and Pearl, and I'm excited to try some of them out. 
If you like this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. I will see you in the next Pokemon video.